Today we are reacting to a Filipino carbonara. I know in the Philippines they love eating pasta and I hope this Filipino carbonara is done very well. Maybe with an extra touch to make it Filipino. Let's see, you know how much I love carbonara and how much I defend carbonara. So ah, I wanna be calm, happy, and hopefully it's gonna be a good video. Creamy pasta. Okay. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can see the mushroom can at the back. I'm already scared. I can see ham and bacon. I'm already getting worried and I can see orange pasta. Ooh. Okay. Okay, stay calm. What, what is that? <gasps> oh my God. I can see mushrooms and I can see shredded mozzarella and parsley. Oh. Let's shred the mozzarella. Shred the mozzarella on top of the carbonara. Why are you doing this to me? Why? <gasps> Why? I like the music, but... No, that's not carbonara. I'm so sorry, you do not call it carbonara. Carbonara is from Rome. Carbonara is from Rome. I'm from Pescara, two hours from Rome. And I don't say I make Pescara carbonara. Someone from Milano doesn't say I make a Milano carbonara. French people are not allowed to make French carbonara. A Chinese person is not allowed to make Chinese pork carbonara. A Brazilian is not allowed to make Brazilian carbonara. Why? Because carbonara is carbonara. Do not play with that, please, okay? Call it something else. This is not carbonara. I love Filipino people. You guys are wonderful. I want to go to El Nido, Palawan. It's one of my dreams to go there. Please be nice to me. Do not do this to me. Why? This doesn't look like a carbonara. I'm going crazy. I'm going mental here. I don't know what to do. So, to this guy seems like a nice guy, okay? So, I want to be nice to you. Please be nice. So, to carbonara. Oh, I'm glad he said that, carbonara. Okay, so what are you trying to say? So, he's making a carbonara Filipino style, okay. And ito meron akong water boiling. At pag nag-asin ka ng tubig mo, dapat maraming asin. Look at that, no? He's putting salt, which is nice. You don't need to put too much salt in the water when you make carbonara. Because the pecorino cheese is salty. The guanciale or the pancetta is salty. Nangyari, kumakain tayo ng pasta, yung sauce lang yung may lasa, yung pa Guys, when you boil pasta, always use a large pot. Even if you cook it just for one person. Do not use a small pot. The pasta needs space to cook. Large pot, put water, be generous with the water, and then you put the pasta in there and cook it properly. It's such a small pot. Pasta doesn't deserve a small pot. Pasta walang lasas. Do you feel comfortable in a small place when you can't move? Pasta feels the same. And now I will add my noodles. Noodles? Uh, spaghetti, I thought. Uh, so basically, make the sauce first because the pasta needs to go straight in the sauce once the pasta is ready, okay? So these spaghetti, they look orange to me. They'll probably be ready in seven minutes. You're not gonna make the sauce in seven minutes, are you? Yeah, so it's a recipe, not if you want to grab a cup, it's very simple to do. It's too orange, too orange, way too orange. So what I do, I have my bacon here. Oh dear bacon. In 2023, we still have to talk about this. I will begin to fry my Oh, he's got garlic and onion. He's got Spanish onion, red onion. He's got red onions there and garlic. In carbonara! You don't put garlic, you don't put onion. And definitely no bacon. Bacon, so that the fat will render. No? So that's what you want. Gusto natin na magmantika yung ating bacon. If you don't have any other options, I understand you have to go for bacon. I understand you don't have other options. What do you do? You can't get pancetta, you have to use bacon. But honestly, in two days, days, you find pancetta everywhere. I watched other Filipino videos because I do watch some Filipino cooking and I like the Filipino cooking. And I've seen the pancetta is available in the Philippines. It's available. It's available everywhere, pancetta. Use pancetta. Guanciale is the best thing to use, the pig cheek. Pancetta is the belly. Use pancetta. Bacon. And I will just have some sweet ham. What is this sweet ham going to do? How can this sweet ham allow you to call this dish carbonara? You can't call it carbonara. Nothing to strips. And 
I like to cut into strips. I like my guanciale to cut into strips. But this is sweet ham. Another thing we will add here also, a nice chunkiness to our carbonara. We will add our pieces and stems. Oh my God, he keep calling a carbonara. He's such a nice guy. Please don't do this to me. Please, what, what have I done to you? I don't even know you. Why are you doing this on purpose? That can needs to go away. I don't want to see that can in the kitchen. How much do these people pay you to, to use their cans? Do not call it carbonara. Mushroom UFC, not from UFC. Honestly, there's no carbonara flavor so far. And I haven't seen the eggs, where are the eggs? Carbonara is eggs, pecorino cheese. You can put parmigiano cheese if the pecorino is too strong. And pepper, and guanciale, sorry. So guanciale, pecorino, pepper, eggs, and spaghetti. So what I will do with my bacon, you know. By now the pasta should be ready too. It's been cooking for a while. I will get half of it. And this guy is not the only one doing this in the Philippines. I've seen other videos, okay? I, I picked this guy because I like him. Um, I, I don't want simple, it's a, it's a nice channel. I don't want you to think this, this guy knows how to cook very well. But uh, he's probably never been to Italy, so he doesn't know what real carbonara tastes like. And that's why it's wrong that he's sharing this. I guess this is probably only for Filipino, but I want Filipino people to enjoy the real carbonara done the right way. Later on, to the sauce. But the rest, I will fry up until crispy para sa ating garnish on top. Doesn't look that crispy to me. Crispy bacon. Who doesn't love... I can't believe I'm watching this. I need to come to the Philippines earlier. Not in two years, maybe now. And do a carbonara tour. Because you guys have eggs, you guys have pancetta, you guys have spaghetti. Crispy bacon. Tuloy, tuloy. Konti lang, no? Also, we're just like moving it around our... It's taking too long. ...pan para maging crisp siya. Yeah, that was very nice bacon. Tatabi na natin yung... That's ating... nice now. That's crispy. Yeah, that's nice. Bacon. But that's good enough. Pang-topping lang natin siya. So what... That's nice and crispy. We are going to do... We will saute our onions and our garlic. I can't believe it. At first, in the bacon fat. So now I'm adding a little bit of butter. I'm adding butter. <laughs> so you're making a Alfredo mushroom bacon pasta. Butter, pangdagdag ng dinamnam ng ating. And I want to know what makes this dish Filipino, by the way. What what makes it Filipino? Is it the creamy mushroom sauce? Sauce. And I will add my. Mushrooms by UFC pieces and stems mushrooms. Uh, honestly, is this is what making Filipino carbonara, uh, Filipino carbonara? I need to understand what makes it Filipino. And again, I will season with salt. Not too much, but we just want it to have a bit of flavor. So. Yeah, I guess uh, you can put salt because your ingredients are not salty. If you use guanciale or if you have pecorino ready to go, then you don't need the salt. Salt. Very important to saute your mushrooms para... Very important, yeah, he's right. Mas sumarap siya, mas lumabas yung flavor niya. Then we add our sweet ham, sliced sweet ham. Sweet ham in carbonara is so wrong. But what he's doing is, um, he's not cooking the sweet ham for a long time because it's already, it's processed food, like, you know, it's already been cooked. It's ready to eat, so... And also our bacon, no? Yung half of our bacon. Yeah, so... All of that comes together to let that cook. I still don't understand what makes this Filipino. And now I will strain my pasta. So I did not put any oil sa aking pasta noodles so kasi lulutuin ko siya. No, you don't put oil in the pasta noodles. Bravo, well done. You don't, you don't waste olive oil in the, in the pasta water, in the pasta. You don't do that. The pasta goes straight in the, in the pan. Now is the time I will add my evaporated milk. What? Evaporated milk? Evaporated milk? Evaporated milk in carbonara? This is what makes it Filipino. Because you do the sweet pasta, the sweet spaghetti from the Philippines have evaporated milk. So that, this is the Filipino touch. It must be. But the rest is not Filipino. And also that pasta over there, it's dying. Look. So I told it's the time you... And also that pasta on the side there, it's dying. The pasta cannot stay in the colander for too long. It needs to go 
straight into the pan and mix it with the sauce. My evaporated milk. So ito siya, it's the time. It's over, it's brown. The evaporated milk is brown. I don't actually use evaporated milk much for my cooking. You add your seasoning granules or whatever you want. And now, remember, sabi ko sa inyo, di ba yung pasta mo, tulutuin mo siya ng cook. The pasta is dead. Hey, look at this detail, okay? Yung pasta mo, That's why I'm here. That's why I have a YouTube channel focusing on Italian cuisine, to teach you how to make the pasta right, the right way. Look at that. The pasta is stuck together. And you are destroying, you're killing every single Italian on this planet by doing that. Look at that. Nang kulang siya ng mga two minutes, no? Bago siya maging fully cooked. Para makalasa yung ating noodles. Season with black pepper. No? Where is the egg? So it black pepper is the only good thing he did, I think, in this recipe. The black pepper is the best part. And I like the way he made the bacon crispy. And again, I don't know Simple. I don't know, this guy is very nice. I'm not saying anything wrong to him, please. It's not personal. This is about the carbonara. And I want the country, the Philippines, to enjoy carbonara the right way. You guys have the ingredients in the Philippines. Enjoy it the right way. It's up to you how much black pepper you want to add to your recipe. Yeah, you can put as much as you like. And we will add our all-purpose cream. You're putting cream now after the milk? Mamma mia. And you still call this carbonara. Ma per favore, Sim Paul, please. I want to buy your book. I want to make your recipes because I've seen your channel. You cook very well. Ma che cazzo? You put cream. No cream in carbonara. No cream in carbonara. Buy my t-shirt and remind everyone, no put cream in carbonara. I've got t-shirts. No cream on carbonara. Buy it now, please. What have I done to, do to you, Philippines? I thought you liked me. I love you guys. I love the Filipino people, the culture. You guys are awesome. What have I done to you for you to treat me so disrespectfully? If you came to me with respect, I would have been nice. But now, you make me angry. I sound like the food father. <laughs> but you don't ask with respect. You don't offer me a cup of coffee or a plate of pasta. You don't even call me the food father. Natin. And oh. luto na lang yan. And we will be ready to serve. Uh, serve to who? Dun, dun, dun. No. Dun, it's... You know, at least he mixed the pasta with the sauce, which is uh, the good thing he did. The good thing is the pepper and mixing the pasta with the sauce. Because I know that many people, many of you do not mix the sauce and the pasta. You put the pasta in the plate and then the sauce on top. That's the biggest mistake you can do. Perfect. Oh my god, he's putting shredded mozzarella or something. What, what cheese is that? He's putting that on top. What is that? is that? That must be a Filipino cheese, but that looks like shredded mozzarella to me. What is he doing with the cheese on top? Perfect. What is that? I don't know. You cannot call this carbonara. Call it Filipino noodles. Filipino ham and mushroom noodles. But you can't, don't call it carbonara. So I'm sorry, it's so disrespectful, honestly. It's not something you can do. No. What is that parsley? Is that coriander or par is that coriander? Parsley, pa. It's parsley. Ito na siya ang ating recipe galing kay Dory para sa ating UFC 50th anniversary cookbook. I want to be nice, but how can I be nice? Come on, you did do, you do this to me, and you want me to be nice. Uh, I'm struggling, okay? I'm struggling to talk now. I hope you guys understand my concern and my frustration here. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you on the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. Go and watch my latest carbonara video, please, okay? And try and make it. I promise you, you, you eat it, you're not going to make carbonara like this anymore. You make this dish. But you don't call it carbonara. You can make this dish, do whatever you want. But when you call it carbonara, then we need to have a face-to-face -face, um, conversation. Hey, Simpo, feel free to call me Simpo, and we can have a discussion. <laughs> we can chat face-to-face. -face. And maybe I can invite you to my house. I will make a carbonara together, yeah? I've got plenty of guanciale. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, done. Thank you, guys. See you in the next video. Ciao.